at uh, Umqua Lighthouse State Park in Oregon attempting to uh, make my first uh, weekly progress uh, video for this bike trip. Um, so there's a lot of things I'll probably be uh, able to improve on. Feel free to point those out to me. Um, most of you watching this probably know me and are in touch with me regularly. If not, feel free to leave a comment or whatever. Or if you don't like it, just don't bother watching. So as you'll notice, I'm walking around this state park by this lake with a selfie stick. Seems like a ridiculous thing to do, uh, way to do things. I was thinking of sitting at a uh, picnic table with a tripod, but uh, things were way too crowded in the uh, hiker-biker camping area, and I didn't realize beforehand there were picnic tables down here. Also, I kind of want to check out this lighthouse that the state park is named for, and there's only so much light left to do that and try and finally get around to an update video. Uh, okay, so, uh, I'm going to try out the format of me talking, explaining how the week was, and splicing in some pictures and, uh, and time-lapse videos of, uh, the route. <coughs> um, let me know what you think, but I, from previous bike trips, I've realized that, uh, footage of me on a bike tends to be exceptionally boring. Uh, so I've tried to speed it up, trying the time-lapse thing. That may or may not, uh, work well. Uh, also, after a week of doing that, looking at some of the time lapses, I've realized a couple of things like having it on a two second delay makes it seem overly jumpy. Uh, so I moved to a half second delay and I'll probably just speed up the video because it seems overly slow. Um, also, it seemed like I was sort of lacking of pictures of like actual things because uh, there's a lot of footage just on the road. Um, so I tried to fix that the last couple days or like the, uh, the most recent week, but let me know. Okay, so, uh, just finding my way now. Uh, yeah, so, um, like I was saying, uh, it's been a pretty good week, uh, biking up the California coast and into Oregon. Uh, has some, uh, nice goodbyes in San Francisco, said goodbye to Dov, who, very kindly hosted me for a week and he was, he was a really cool guy to uh, get to know about it too and great to have a, an eager enthusiastic teacher to bounce ideas off of uh, before heading out on the trip. Uh, Claire and her family who I work with in Paris also saw me off at the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, then headed up to Marin County, promptly got lost on the way out of Sausalito and then eventually uh, along the coast. One of the things that surprised me a lot biking here I hadn't have thought, thought of beforehand was uh, the weather even though it doesn't like actually rain it's never like particularly nice out <laughs> it's always like cold and foggy especially the first two days out I, I started thinking like maybe I'll never warm up or get dry turns out further up the coast yeah it tends to clear up for a couple hours in the middle of the day before fogging over again at night Okay, so the first day, biked up uh, past Point Reyes, Tamales Bay, over to uh, Bodega Bay. Got in a little late, um, nothing exceptional here or there about the campsite, things like that. Uh, next day, more or less of the same. Uh, made it just past Mendocino, uh, camped at Russian Gulch State Park. Uh, the next day things started getting interesting, both with a reasonably big hill, but going inland to Re uh, Redwood Forests, Avenue of the Giants. Had a really cool, like, sunset bike ride through Avenue of the Giants. Um, really cool light contrasts. Um, I'll put the video of that on, and just like a note on that, it looks darker than it is. Like, it looks like I'm fully biking at night, and I'm totally trying to avoid that for safety reasons was starting to get like a bit dark, but it's totally not like the pitch blackness that it gives the impression under the shade of the redwoods. Uh, the fourth day was the best day of the trip uh, so far. Uh, I met David Holler in, I guess in Eureka, uh, and he showed me his school. I filmed like eight videos worth of amazing experiments. Uh, four of them are already online. Hopefully I'll get around to editing them sometime soon, but like, balancing long days of biking and things like that. It's kind of hard. Um, and uh, yeah, I even ended up staying an extra day with him and his uh, wonderful wife, Tasha. 
uh, spent the day editing, uploading videos, um, and then uh, went to a, a Arcada Crabs double A game uh, with their friend Bryce and a bunch of other friends for his birthday, which was a great experience. I uh, hit the road again for the last stretch of California. I guess that was my sixth day. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, the coast behind and the, the lighthouse, lighthouse here. Okay, so hit the uh, hit the road for the um, sixth day of biking. Uh, Trinidad and the uh, Hammond bike trail is a really cool bike trail, nice little town. Eventually got to uh, uh, just before Crescent City Mill Creek Campground, which was the biggest hill of the day was going down there, so it took like half an hour to climb up again in the morning. Uh, the next morning crossed into Oregon, which was uh, really nice, had an amazing welcome center. Uh, they let me charge my phone, use their wireless, I got to call my mom. With, um, then, yeah, Oregon's been pretty good. Um, good camping. Um, yeah, nothing really remarkable here or there. Um, I think that'll be it for this week's update because I've already rambled on for six minutes. But uh, if I have extra um, photos or like time lapse, which I probably will include as long as the file size isn't too big, uh, then I'm going to accompany it with music by uh, Adam Shire and the Unseen Strangers, which he's uh, graciously uh, let me put as a background to videos for this. So. A big thank you to, to him. Go check them out. I'll put a link to their website or YouTube channel or whatever YouTube lets me do. Um, yeah, and enjoy the rest of the footage. Um,